up. Senpai, why are you here? Same reason you are. Mr. Ikoda, I'm here to ask you about a student named Fuka Yamagishi. No! Please, I... I never thought it'd turn out this way. Fuka... Hey, I remember you. What did you do to Yamagishi? Hold on, Kiri Jokun. This isn't an interrogation. Stop scaring her. Ryama, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to. You wouldn't want to give her the wrong idea. Fuka, she. She always looked so frazzled whenever I gave her a hard time. That's when I realized. She may be a model student, but deep down, she's just like us. And because of that, I knew exactly which buttons to push. You were just messing with her earlier that day, too. It was May 29th. We took Fuka to the gym and locked the door from the outside. Her inside? That night, Maki got worried Fuka might commit suicide, so she went back to the school by herself. But she never came back. And the next morning, she was found lying outside the front gate. I went to the gym to let Fuka out, but the door was still locked. So I opened it and went inside, but she wasn't there. We all freaked out. Starting that night, we went out looking for her. But every night, another one of us wouldn't come back. And then they all ended up like Maki. I see. Mr. Okoda. All this time you've been reporting Yamagishi is absent due to illness. But the truth of the matter is that she was missing. You had to have known this. Explain yourself. I was thinking of the students, of course. You children may not understand, but we have to consider the future of everyone affected. So you chose not to report a missing child for the good of the class, and not because you didn't want the police involved. It... it was in her best interest. I wouldn't want her records to be stained by something like this. Her parents agreed. So to protect your career, you ignored your responsibility as a teacher. Despicable. No, I, I... I didn't mean... Uh, I, I was just... Uh... That's enough. You can go now. We'll handle the rest. W wait but... Don't worry. This won't be the last you'll hear of this. Oof. About your friends. Did you notice anything unusual about them before they went missing? Anything at all? <sighs> A voice. A creepy voice. They all mentioned it right before they went missing. They said they could hear it calling their name. Oh, man. Senpai, could it be? 
besides them, no doubt about it. Up until now, we've never been able to predict who exactly would become aware during the Dark Hour. This voice must be the key. In other words, it doesn't just happen randomly. They actually get drawn in. I realize now, after seeing all of this, they're clearly targeting humans. Shadows are most definitely the enemy of mankind. Stay at our dorm tonight. That should be the safest place. If you hear the voice, tell us immediately. And don't leave your room no matter what happens. If you can manage that, you should be fine. Don't worry. Yamagishi should be all right as well. Luka... Yori and Takeba too. We'll meet after school in the student council room to discuss tonight's operation. Tonight? Yes. We are going to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. If my guess is right, she's still inside the school. Understood. Good. You're all here. Tonight, we're infiltrating the campus. Our objective is to rescue Fuka Yamagishi. Uh, I don't get it. Are you saying Yamagishi is inside the school somewhere? And why are we doing this at night? At midnight, this place turns into... Exactly. That's how Yamagishi wandered into Tartarus. You mean Yamagishi-san's been over there ever since she got locked in the gym? That's right. But that was ten days ago! No matter how you look at it, she's gotta be... Don't lose hope just yet. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour. So where does it go for the rest of the day? That's a good point. This is just a theory. But I think time flows differently in Tartarus. So even though it's been ten days for us, it could have only been ten hours for her. There's a chance she's still alive. Wow, you think so? But wait, isn't the dark hour pretty brutal though? Even for us? How could she last ten days' worth in there? That is true. And even if she is still alive, we might not be able to get to her. Are you just gonna abandon her then? I have an idea. Let's try to enter Tartarus the same way Yamagishi did. We'll go to the gym and wait for midnight. That'll be the quickest way. Is that really gonna work? In all honesty, I can't say I fully agree with this. If something goes wrong, you could all end up lost in Tartarus too. But... I'm not just gonna stand here and do nothing. If there's a chance we can save her. I'd never forgive myself. If you guys aren't with me, then I'm going in on my own. Uh, senpai? All right. We know it's risky, but we also can't just leave her there. Right, and we won't know until we try. Guess we're sneaking into the school then. <laughs> in that case, I've got just the thing. You do? No answer. This is a problem. I can't get a hold of the chairman. Well, that's not a big deal, right? There is one issue. 
Without the chairman's help, I'm not sure how we can get inside the school. No need to worry. I've got it all set. All set? An explosive? <laughs> all right. I'll let you handle this. There's no time to waste. Let's go. An actual explosive? Uh, no. Uh, all I did was unlock a door. We got in, no problem. Man, I'm a genius. Is there really something to brag about here? So you unlocked it earlier. Très bien. Oui, good job. We should find somewhere to get ourselves ready. Your classroom should work, right? What? Trey Ben? Is that French or something? Why are they talking in different languages anyway? Can we turn on the lights? Aw, you scared? No, I'm not. <laughs> Stupé. Uncalled for. Quiet. We need to get started. It's better for us if the lights are off. They cut the power at night anyway. I don't really like sneaking around. First, we have to find the key to the gym. It should be in either the faculty office or the janitor's room. You three check the faculty office. Akihiko and I will take the janitor's room. After that, we'll meet in the main hallway on the first floor. Understood? So, we're searching the faculty office, huh? Hey, maybe we'll find some test questions. <laughs> maybe I should go to the faculty office, too. It sounds interesting. You're not planning to do something unethical under my supervision, are you? I suppose you'll need to be executed. Hey, come on! Obviously, I was joking! <laughs> All I meant by interesting was that there's a higher chance of finding the key there. Enough with the excuses. Let's head to the janitor's room. Iori, you're coming with us. Let's get this over with. something what there's someone else here we gotta hide <sighs> it was just a security guard Totally normal reaction. 
Well, now that I think about it, that could have just been someone else from our group, so hearing footsteps isn't a big deal. Maybe. <laughs> There's nothing to be afraid of, right? <laughs> uh, why am I laughing? people out, right? Come on, the thing just rang out of nowhere. Uh, what? That's not funny, you know. one. Really? Let me see. Yeah, this is it. I'm sure they won't mind if we borrow this. Okay, let's go. We're supposed to meet up with everyone in the main hallway. Did you find the key? Sure did. You know, I heard a scream that sounded kind of familiar. Huh? Wait, you actually did? I was just kidding. You want to take this outside? Guys, come on. All right. We'll divide into teams again. Three of you will enter Tartarus, and one of you will remain outside with me. Once the dark hour begins, I'll pinpoint Yamagishi's position. I'm going in. You come too. You can take the lead as usual. Uh, then I'll be the third. Wait a second, Yukatani. Remember how I accidentally screwed up on the monorail? Give me a chance to make up for that. Oh, come on. It's not always about you. Besides, you didn't accidentally screw up. All right, Junpei, we'll give you another shot. And with that, the teams are set. Sweet. Thanks. What's wrong, Takeba? Do you have a problem staying with Mitsuru? Uh, no, no, it's fine. It's almost time. Let's go. Heard back from them. 
Transmission range is at max, too. Uh, I hope that girl Moriyama is okay at the dorm. Unfortunately, no place is completely safe in the dark hour. But we couldn't risk bringing her here. And having one of us stay behind to watch her wasn't an option either. Yeah, I guess so. Well, we are all here for Yamagishi-san's sake. I'm here. I've confirmed your position. You're higher up than I expected. You're barely in communication range. Is everyone all right? I don't know. Got stuff right. Akihiko! Come in, Akihiko! Uh, is he out of range? That's worrying. First time we've spoken outside of your room. Don't worry, you'll see them soon. But we don't have much time to talk. Tonight, there is more than one ordeal you must face. You should hurry. She's waiting for you. You guys will need her. See you. I hope we meet again. Are you up right? It's too far. I can't find any backup. I'm sorry. Find on Ego and the others.
right here. Please, answer me. worried about you. I don't think we should enter Tartarus this way again. Oh, yeah. Did you hear a voice on your way here? Yeah, kind of like... Who's there? Are you... human? It, that's it? That's the voice? Wait, didn't that come from behind us? Uh. Are you Fuka Yamagishi? Yes. Wow, you're alive! That's awesome! Never fear, the heroes are here. Good to see you're okay. Come with us. Thank you so much. I... Y yes, I'll be fine. Sorry, I'm just so relieved. 
Looks like I made the right call then. I'll see if I can contact Mitsuru. What is this place? One second I was at school, and then... Uh, it's kind of a long story. We can explain after we get out of here. Mitsuru, can you hear me? No good. All I hear is static. Oh, are you hurt anywhere? You've probably seen the monsters wandering around, right? So, there is something dangerous in here then. I've gotten by without them finding me so far. Wait, you've avoided them this entire time? How is that possible? Um, it's hard to describe, but I can sort of tell where they are. What do you mean? Are you saying you're psychic or something? She has the same power as Mitsuru. Actually, she might be even stronger. Mitsuru's persona is always more combat-focused to begin with. Persona? Hang on to this. Huh? Wait, is this... is this a gun? Think of it as a lucky charm. It doesn't actually fire bullets. Um... okay... All right, let's get out of here. Oh, check out the moon! It's huge! I don't think I've ever seen it so bright. There's some research that indicates the shadows are affected by the phases of the moon. Although the same thing is true about humans. That would explain Yucatan's mood swings. Hey, wasn't it a full moon the night we went to the monorail? Hmm? It was. Uh, is something wrong? Hey. Did you see the moon on the night the dorm was attacked back in April? Today is June 8th. The monorail incident happened on May 9th. And the assault in the dorm was on April 9th. They were all on a full moon! Mitsuru, are you there? Hey, can you hear me? Mitsuru, come in! Be careful. Mitsuru? Mitsuru! What is that? It's much bigger than the others. And it's attacking someone! Damn it! What the hell's going on? Here. It's one of them. My guess is right. They come every full moon. We've got to hurry. Hey, wait for me. What? There's two of them? Mitsuru! Takeba! <laughs> What's going on? Nothing's working! Tanada-san! Gotta draw the shadows away! Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, if it's a fight you want, then you've got it! Akihiko, be careful. Normal attacks don't work on them. No, what are you 
you doing here? Moriyama-san? Hey! Come back! Please, get out of here! It's not safe! I... I had to tell you... I'm sorry... Yamagishi-san? A persona? I can see... I... I can see these monsters' weaknesses. Can it be? Just as I thought. Mitsuru, let her take her place. We'll handle these guys. Here. 
been waiting for this. Let's get in there. Everyone, follow my lead. Don't worry. It's over. Luca... You... Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Luca! It's all right. She's just exhausted. Luca... Luca, I... Where did those two shadows come from? Somewhere outside of Tartarus. Just like with the dorm and the monorail. Outside, huh? Uh, what are we gonna do about Moriyama-san? She knows about the Dark Hour and the shadows. It doesn't matter. She's not like us, so she won't remember anything that happens in the Dark Hour. The good news is, she didn't fall victim to the Shadows, despite hearing their call. So I don't think she'll get drawn in again. She's safe now. But doesn't that mean she'll forget Yamagishi-san saved her life? That doesn't seem right. Actually, I get the feeling that things will work out. I'm sorry, Fuka. I'm so sorry. It looks like she's learned her lesson. I'm sorry!
Good morning. Precisely. 